हेलो पीपल इन दिस वीडियो लेट इस लुक एट दिस मलम पट्टी ग्रेडी और मलम पट्टी स्कोर दिस इज कमिंग अंडर अनस्थीशिया सो बेसिकली इन प्री एनेस्थेटिक चेकअप दैट इज व्हेन यू आर चेकिंग इफ अ पर्सन इज फिट फॉर सर्जरी और नॉट यू विल डू दिस चेक्स बिकॉज़ यू वांट टू नो हाउ इजी इट इज टू इंक्यूबेट द पर्सन ओके सो वेयर आर वी लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट सो व्हेनेवर यू आर डूइंग अ pre anesthetic checkup okay so you are checking if this person is fit fit for surgery if the person can be given anesthesia that is the main thing so anesthesia people will check this what and all they will check they will do an almost an entire evaluation of the person from history which language they talk which caste they are also comes in this because some caste particular caste is um deficient in some enzymes okay and uh, you will check all the comorbidities of the person any previous surgeries any complications during these pre uh, previous surgeries etc guys are you focusing basically they do a lot of check and one of the checks is this airway evaluation so in airway evaluation an anesthesia anesthesiologist is going to check the ease of intubation right because if you are especially giving general anesthesia the person will not be able to uh, breathe by themselves right so you will have to check mouth opening neck movement etc and in this is where you get your uh, malam patti grading okay so basically this uh, malam patti score is going to tell you it is um, the uh, it is going to predict the ease of endotracheal intubation okay so which is shown in this uh, uh, photo here endotracheal intubation so into your trachea they are putting something so endotracheal intubation to check the ease of that an anesthesiologist will um do the malam patti are you there with us are you there with us so what are we looking at we are looking at malam patti score okay so uh, pay attention here we are, we are looking at malam patti score p a t i p a t i o l e t so okay malam patti score so basically this is a topic in anesthesia correct so let's uh, come back here so um, you have understood that it is going to predict the ease of endotracheal intubation so now why this name came because of this person sheshagiri rao malam patti he is an indian born american anesthesiologist so um, both of them are taking credit american and uh, americans and indians so <clears throat> so it is going to predict the ease of endotracheal intubation okay now uh, look at this so if you ask a patient to open their mouth and put their tongue out and say ah okay put your tongue out as far as possible and open your mouth and say ah or without making noise also if it possible now if you see that um uh, you are you are able to see uh, this like this okay then it means it is good okay so now let's use a green here <clears throat> that means it is nice however if it is the tongue is so huge right and you're not able to see soft palate soft palate not visible it is grade 4 okay class 4 this is the modified malam patti score this is actually the new one so you should understand here guys are you there uh, so what are we looking at uh, malam patti score so you have understood that there are four uh, classes or grades 1 2 3 4 it is very difficult to remember actually four is where the tongue is very large okay remember four is where the tongue is very large you can see and the soft palate is not visible okay so come back here and uh, you can see here uh, class 1 you can completely uh, see the soft palate which is uh, soft palate people and which is hard palate so here you can see people that the uh, hard palate is in front okay the hard palate is in front and the soft palate is at back <clears throat> you do one thing you um, put your tongue just behind your teeth okay the upper uh, teeth <clears throat> incisors it's hard right that's the hard palate now put your tongue a little more behind that is a soft palate okay so you understood here okay so now um and uh, look at this this is the uvula okay you 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 is in the mouth remember uvula if you remove the u it will become something about the genitals so remember this is the uvula uvula is this thing which is hanging down like a u okay uvula okay so <clears throat> what they are saying here is that um here you are able to see the soft palate correct you are able to see the hard palate hard palate is here i am able to see the hard palate and i am able to see the soft palate i am able to see the uvula okay here what is happening in the second one uvula is fully vis visible then they are saying that uvula only base only the base of the uvula that is here the base of the uvula is visible right base is here base this is the base of the uvula that is visible and finally the uvula is not visible that is what i am seeing it as 
so look at this people they have some uh, uh, apparently some uh, mnemonic also to remember it if you want you can remember like that but anyways i think it is not required just see if you can understand so in grade 1 okay that is green let us say okay the tongue is small okay grade 1 you can see the hard palate behind that you can see the soft palate you can see the uvula and then you can see the tonsillar pillars okay so this becomes uh, uh, this becomes uh, fossus what is fossus you can see fossus tonsillar pillars okay so this becomes your this becomes your what grade 1 so fossus <clears throat> is actually the opening of your throat okay it's just you can say throat so it is the arched opening of the uh, at the back of the mouth leading to the pharynx okay so you will be able to see that so they are saying you can see all PUSH okay then coming to grade 2 grade 2 only USH that is what you can see see hard palate anyways you can see in all of them you can see that in this photo isn't it hard palate you are able to see that is because hard palate is in the front right so hard palate you are able to see in all of it so H will always be there okay H is always there let's try it guys are you focusing so H is always visible okay now they are saying that <coughs> here you can see P U S H then you can see U S H you can see what U S H then you can see S H then you can see H that means hard palate is visible even in grade 4 in uh, uh, the class 3 they are saying soft palate and hard palate okay and in uh, class 2 they are saying uvula okay complete visualization of the uvula soft palate hard palate and in class 1 you have something extra p that is the tonsillar pillars right the that is the fossil pillars okay the tonsillar pillars so this is how you will remember the malampati grading okay now um, if the grading uh, if the malampati score is greater than 3 that means it is not something that you like it is difficult to intubate then you in the lemon assessment uh, airway assessment you will give one point anyways lemon uh, airway assessment is yet another uh, topic so just remember in that also you get this malampati score okay so this is uh, showing you how difficult it is to establish an airway in an emergency uh, patient okay so that is what they are telling about lemon, lemon, lemon also is there here. So guys, is it going over your head? So what are we looking at in this video? Malampati score, right? What are we looking at? Malampati score. We have looked at 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 where the tongue is really large actually. So that's how you can remember because you will feel like uh, grade 4 is uh, good. No, grade 4 is bad. That's what you have to remember. Okay, grade 4 is bad where the tongue is really large. Fine. <clears throat> now let's get back here. What is uh, here? What is the higher Malampati score represent? It represents that uh, also it can be that these people may have, have, have it may be uh, they may have uh, what am I saying obstructive sleep uh, apnea. Okay, that means when they sleep they may have uh, difficulty breathing because their tongue falls back probably right. So they're having obstruction and um, especially if they have nasal obstruction. So they are going to breathe via the mouth. Correct. So uh, how will they breathe via the mouth if the tongue is so huge? Correct. So it can uh, these people can be uh, having uh, obstructive sleep apnea if the malampati score is very high. Okay, now can you improve your malampati score? Um, see, depends. How can you reduce the size of the tongue? And uh, that is something you have to think about. Now, remember this uh, malampati score uh, is not about the vocal cords. Okay, so remember vocal cords have some other uh, classification system that is Cormac uh, Lehan system or uh, classification system. Okay, that is a different one. So, here in this video, what did you look at? You looked only at the malampati score. This is coming under uh, anesthesia. And a pre-anesthetic checkup under the airway, airway evaluation, you are checking uh, Malampatti uh, score uh, given by Sheshagiri Rao Malampatti, who is an Indian born American anesthesiologist. Uh, so basically it is predicting the ease of endotracheal intubation. Okay. So you have 1, 2, 4. So there is a, uh, a mnemonic also to remember how, uh, uh, what is Malampatti score. Okay. So uh, here you can see that um, okay 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 focus people grade one is uh, where you can see the uh, fossil pillars uvula soft palate and hard palate and also they talked about the fossies right fossies then grade two is where you can see the uvula okay soft palate hard palate even the fossies you can see in grade two grade three you have the hard and soft palate and then grade four you have only the hard palate only hard palate where will you see grade four okay so, if the score is greater than 3, then uh, in lemon airway assessment, when you are assessing airway in uh, that lemon score, you will give 1 point, okay. 
and uh, these people can have obstructive sleep apnea syndrome if they have nasal obstruction so malam patti score can help you predict that okay then uh, remember this is not about the vocal cords okay so what did you learn about in this video malam patti score bye